Hello everyone. This is NBK here. Hope everything is fine. In our last video, we saw how to create a custom table and a custom structure using S11 transaction code. In this video, I'll show you how to create variables, how to declare work areas and internal tables, how to use select statements and how to use a loop. In some scenarios, we need to use a loop inside another loop which is called nesting loop. This technique will definitely affect our performance. When you have large amount of data, the nested loop will result in huge execution time. To avoid this, we can implement parallel cursor method. Now we will see how this parallel cursor method can be implemented. Firstly, let's go to SC38 and create a Z program. So this would be our title for the program. Click on create. Give some description. Select the type as executable program and save this. So this is our Z program and I am going to use these tables in our program LIKP and LIPS so our syntax would be and I'll be declaring a work area and internal table with reference to the standard tables LIKP and LIPS. Now we need to create variables to record the execution time after the execution of nested loop and the execution of parallel cursor method. For this I need uh, 4 variables. I'll copy this and paste it to save time. So for LIKP and LIPS, VBLN is the key field and we need to give it as the input uh, and I need, I need it to be as range so I am going for select options. Now we have all the internal tables work areas ready and uh, now I am going to select data from database tables into our internal tables uh, by passing the VBLN input which we give which we give as input in the selection screen. I'll be doing the nested loop so I'll try to fetch how much time the program has executed till now so that I can subtract from the nested time execution.
next i'll be doing the nested loop so i'll try to fetch how much time the program has executed till now so for this uh, we need to use this syntax get run time field and we need to move it into this uh, variable which we have created So this statement gives us the execution time after the select statements. Now we are going to use nested loop that means loop inside another loop. Firstly we will loop LIKP internal table into its work area and inside that we will loop and inside that we will loop LIPS internal table into its work area. We have closed the two loops which we have opened and again we need to fetch the execution time after the nested loops. This time we will pass the execution time into another variable. So now in order to get the execution time of the nested loop we need to subtract the first run time from the second. So this gives us the execution time of the nested loop and uh, we'll print the execution time on the output screen so that we'll have some idea. So till now we have implemented the nested loop method and uh, we have calculated the execution time of nested loop. Now we will implement the parallel cursor method and uh, find out its execution time. I would like to get the execution time again as of now. And the most important thing is uh, sorting of the internal table by using its key field. Here key field is VBLN. Now we need to create a variable which indicates the index of the loop. I'll cut and paste it at the top in the declaration part. Now we need to loop LIKP internal table into its work area and inside that we will loop the other internal table into its own work area by using an index. Let's see how to do that. We need to capture the tab x value into our variable. This helps the loop to run with reference to tab x value. And if the condition is satisfied, it should exit the loop. I am closing the if and I need to close all the two loops which I created. getting the runtime till here. Now I want the runtime till here. Now we need to subtract the latest runtime with the previous runtime to get the runtime of parallel cursor. I 
and I want to print this runtime on the output screen. So now save the program. It is saved. Check it. There are no errors. It is index curly correct and activate it. Now we need some data. So for that, uh, I need to fetch it in the table. I am going to SE1690 code. I'll find some data in LIKP table. So I am selecting this 500 records from LIKP table. This is our report and I am trying to execute it. I have given all the 500 records which I got from LIKP table and I am executing it. Here you can see clearly the difference between the execution times of uh, this nested loop method and parallel cursor method. This difference will increase as the number of records increase. In this way parallel cursor increases the performance of the report. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions please do comment. If you like this video please give it a like and consider subscribing for more. Thank you.